Ready? I'm ready. for joining me today. I hope we're having a really great day. So today I'm going to talk to you about my sweat proof makeup routine. Um, it is really hot in Winnipeg in July. June you know you're like oh this is kind of warm but you know bearable. July comes around and it's like BAM! Hot. So hot. So today I'm going to share with you what products I use. I also do go to the gym after work so I do apply these products at seven o'clock in the morning. Um, I work all day and then I'm usually at the gym by six o'clock at night until about, I get home about 8.30 and it, they're still on my face. Yep. So these are my tried and true. They're gonna stay in place, I promise, and they really do work. So let's just chat about products. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna have a really great base. And the foundation that I use for the longest wearing product that I that I've found so far is the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm in the shade Fresco and this is a really great full coverage. Nothing is budging. It is staying on your face. It's not going anywhere and it gives, gives you a really nice finish. Flawless. It's perfect. If you are dry then I would recommend a Radiance Primer. So this is also something that I use and this is from Laura Mercier and it's just their Radiance Primer. And so you'll just want to apply this pretty much all over your face. I kind of avoid the nose area and then my under eye area. But other than that, I put this all over and then I put the foundation on over top of that. And it stays in place and it just helps it look not too concrete. For concealer, I do use the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. I really like this. It stays in place. You put it on under your eyes and it doesn't budge all day long. I do set it with a translucent powder so I would recommend doing that. For bronzer, I do use the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in Sun Kissed. Sun Bronze? Sun Kissed? Sun Bronze. Sun Bronze. This is marketed as a waterproof bronzer and I would definitely, definitely agree with that. This stuff does not move on your face. And the thing that I like about this the most is that it does give you that sun bronzed look. It does look like if you wear this on a daily basis, it does look that you've gone to the beach over the weekend and you got a, a little bit of color to your face. This is really, really great and it definitely is waterproof. It's not going to go anywhere. It stays on your face. I really like it. For eyes, I definitely recommend a waterproof mascara. Um, there's nothing worse than having mascara running down your face. Mm -mm, not good. And also, if you're really, really sweating, and you know you have a little bit of transferring on your underneath, under your eye area, mm -mm, not fun. So this is the CoverGirl Full Lash Bloom Mascara in Waterproof. This is really, really amazing mascara. I really like it and I like the fact that it comes in waterproof so that it definitely doesn't go anywhere. You can sweat through this thing and it's not going anywhere until you take it off. For eyeliner, again, water resistance is important. Um, so I use the Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner. This is just a mechanical black eyeliner that I use to line the tight line on my upper lash line. And you know some mascaras and some eyeliners they say waterproof, sometimes they're not. So you really gotta check them out, you gotta test them out. And this one truly, truly is. It's really great, I really like it. And if you wanna order this, cause this is only available in the States, um, I did find it on Amazon. So for the Canadians that are looking for this, just go on Amazon, type in Jane Water Resistant Eyeliner and you will find it. For eyeshadow base, I really like the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. So this is just a pinky skin toned color and I find that this really gets the eyeshadow to stick to your eyelids and really gives you a really good base. So. Make sure you prime your eyelids because you don't want your eyeshadow transferring and moving around and it's not good. No. For eyeshadow, when I know that I'm going to be out in the sun or if I am, if it's a day that I'm going to the gym, I do, I am conscious of the fact that I am going to be out and sweating. So that is definitely not a purple smoky eyed look day. Mm -mm. So it's more of a neutral, still pretty, but you know, just a little bit toned down. Um, so I have been using my Buxom eyeshadows and 
For me, I really just like to throw a matte color in the crease and then a really shimmery color on my eyelid, kind of like what I'm wearing today. Um, it's just, it just makes it easy. When you are sweating and you're wearing matte eyeshadow, there's really no fixing it. Like if you're wearing matte eyeshadow and there's a, you know, a, a drop of sweat rolling down your eyelid, mm, it's going to show up. But if you're wearing a shimmery eyeshadow, really all you need to do is just touch your eyelid and sort of just budge it around and then it, it just blends back into place. And you know, if you are out and about and you are sweating, um, maybe not so much after the gym, you might not be going anywhere after that, but for if you're out and about and you feel like your eyelids are really hot <laughs> and you might be sweating a little bit, you know, just sort of rub your eyelid a little bit and it'll just bl blend back into itself. I would really, really not recommend matte eyeshadow on a hot day. And brows are important. So important. And if you... And if there's one thing that I feel about makeup is that you do not want your brows being all the way up here and then running all the way down here. Bad. Mm -mm. So not good. So for these two products that I use, they are seriously sweat proof they're not going anywhere you will not lose your brows I promise so the first product that I use is the NYX micro brow pencil in taupe this is an amazing dupe for the Anastasia but Beverly Hills uh, brow whiz so save yourself some money go get this one if you're in Canada and looking for a really great selection of NYX products you can just go to London drugs and they're these are actually there because when I originally bought these I bought them in the States and I was pleasantly surprised and delighted when I saw them at London Drugs. And you can fill your brows in as much as you want, but if you don't set them, they might slide, slide down your face. Just warning you, just being real, because you know, I don't want you to be out and being like, uh-oh, I got a brow problem, it's on the loose. Bad. So this is the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Plumper in light medium. There is a medium dark, a medium deep, medium dark? I think medium dark. Um, and this is a really great dupe for the Benefit Give Me Brow. I really like the brush on this. It's really small. Um, it does have fibers in it, so it really does give your lashes that fuller look. And it will set them into place. They're not going to go anywhere, I promise. I'm pro I promise. And to finish off your look, just so that things don't look too cakey or overdone, and also to set everything in place, I would highly recommend a setting spray. This is the Makeup Forever one. I did. Uh, run out of my Urban Decay one which I like better and you know when I say that these products are sweat proof like I mean that they are sweat proof like sweat proof because of my disability I do sweat more than the usual average person so when I say sweat proof like these are sweat proof I don't know whether you could like go swimming in them and then they everything would stay in place but I did get dunked in the pool when I wasn't expecting it and literally I dried my hair I looked in the mirror and then after we were done at the pool we went to the movies I didn't touch on my makeup whatsoever nothing and you would think that I would have needed to but I didn't so that is how legit sweat proof waterproof gym proof these products are I promise and lastly blotting paper so one thing that I will say is that if you are sweating people really get uncomfortable when they sweat But like for me just because I have short arms. I sweat like it's it's a it's gonna happen I was in Superstore a couple days ago, and I started to like have a massive sweat attack <laughs> And I was like, well, I'll just sit here with a card and just fan my face for a little while until this passes And then it passed and then I kept on going no big deal um, but I will say, try not to wipe your face. If you have a tissue or anything like that and you want to dab your face, I would say go ahead. But after you have your sweat attack or your sweating time, um, if you want to touch up anything, I would highly recommend blotting papers just because they are going to take any excess oil or moisture or anything off your face. So these would definitely be better than wiping your face or blotting, like t tapping your face with a tissue. I would recommend this over that. And for a wrap up, I would say that the only place that I really notice my makeup fading or wearing is my under eyes if I've just really done a lot of cardio at the gym. And keep in mind, I do apply these products at 7 o'clock in the morning and I don't get home from work and then the gym until about 8.30 at night. So I, w I do notice a little bit of fading underneath my eyes. That's about it. I look flush.
flushed just because I have worked out for a couple hours, but other than that, it's... I feel like if I had to go somewhere after I was done at the gym, I feel like I could. So those are my sweat-proof, bullet-proof, pool-proof, gym-proof products. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment down below and tell me your favorite sweat-proof, bullet-proof, waterproof, gym-proof product. And please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in my next video. Bye everyone!